as we look at a time to heal, while we might not have anyone in particular to forgive, and while forgiveness is important, the relationship that we have with God is key to our being able to heal. God heals all sort of sickness and illness. God heals broken hearts as well. We have experiences in our lives that we just don't think we can ever get over. So healing takes time. It takes time for God to do the healing. We can't do it on our own. We can't heal ourselves. But God can. From all sorts of illnesses and brokenness. I I had an experience uh, in my life where um, there was nobody to forgive. (laughs) There was such pain, but nowhere to go. At least I didn't think there was any place to go. Because a part of my hurt and my anger was with God. And when you're angry with God, how do you go to God? You see, God said that nothing will separate us from his love. And that's true, nothing separates us from the love of God. God loves us whether we feel it or not. Whether we believe God is present or not. God is still loving us. And in, and in 2004, I lost a daughter. I know many of you have lost a child. And you know what it feels like then to lose uh, someone that close. I'd already lost family. I'd lost mother and father and brother and uncles and aunts and cousins and all sort of people that I knew and loved. But none of it with the intensity of this pain. And so there was a time that I went through that I didn't want to have anything to do with God because I was angry with God. You know, God could have changed this. God could have taken care of this. I I was a pastor at the time, as I'm a pastor now. And so we're all human, and we have all of these human feelings and emotions and anger and hate and hurt in our lives, even at God. And so... Um, my hurt and anger caused me not to even want to pray. You ever, have you ever been there? When you, did, you thought prayer was, was not going to make a difference. It just didn't matter. And so I withdrew from God, but I had a, I had a good superintendent who was, who was acting as my pastor, and he came to visit me a couple of times. And I shared with him my pain and my hurt and the fact that I didn't, wanna, I didn't even want to pray. And he said, well, can you still read? <laughs> Open your Bible. And we did. We opened the Bible and we, and we read together and he prayed. And, and I read uh, in the Gospel of John in the sixth chapter. And, and this, is, this is my the scripture that has given me strength in so many different situations. But God said to me in the scripture, and Jesus was speaking, he said, Whatever the Father gives to me will never be lost. Whatever the Father gives to me will never be lost. We can give anything to Jesus. We can even give our hurt, our anger, and our pain to Jesus. And we won't be lost. If we're going to heal, we're going to have to give it to Jesus. If we're going to heal, we're going to have to forgive and be forgiven. If healing is going to take place, we're going to have to pray. And we're going to have to ask God to do the healing. And then we'll have to forgive. What are you holding on to? What is it that you need to kill in order to heal?
What is your relationship with God? Is it such that you can't talk to God now? And give it over to God? There's a time for healing. I'm going to 